Hi, this is Ken with Steambrite Supply, and we're going to talk about our uh, device here. It's, uh, it's the 1800-220, 1800-220, and this is a 1750-watt heater, inline heater, and a 220 psi switched Aquatech diaphragm pump. Uh, it it can be pressure fed. Uh, it, it's set up to be pressure fed when you buy it, but you can also uh, make it jump and buy a pickup hose and add to it and, and suction feed it out of a bucket. You get about 160, 170 PSI through a number two tip when you're suction feeding it, but when you're pressure feeding it, at, this one is being pressure fed with a watts regulated uh, incoming water source at 50 PSI, and at 50 PSI, through a number two tip, we're running, we're running 220 psi use pressure, actual outbound pressure. Um, we can put different tips on it, uh, and, and that, as you go to larger tips, that lowers some. Now, if you use it in a building where the inbound pressure is higher than 50 psi, then your outbound pressure for the same size tip is going to be higher. And the what the uh, pressure switch has been pre-adjusted to 250 psi. Uh, we, we do not want you changing that. We don't want you going up any higher with it. So if with the inbound pressure wherever you're at through a number two tip, the pump is cycling on and up, going brr, 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 then you're just going to have to go to a larger tip because this is as high as that pressure switch by the manufacturer is authorized to be set. Um, and, and you have two switches here. When you plug it in, this green light indicates it's plugged in. Uh, when you flip this switch and this comes on, that means that this breaker is okay and now you have current to the pump. And when you turn this one on, uh, this indicates your breaker's okay, and this indicates that both heating rods are energized. And these will cycle on and off with the heating rod. So if, if it sits long enough with water in it, moving slowly enough to where it reaches about somewhere just shy of 200 degrees, or, or it's, it's not real, exact uh, but I think one of them clicks off just under 200 and the other one just over 200 so uh, these will cycle on and off with the elements letting you know that they're working and like I said at, at 220 psi it doesn't cycle because the pressure switch is set at 250 but but if you have inbound pressure higher than 50 psi then it probably will cycle through a number two tip you go to a number three or four tip that changes that'll stop uh, and it has a cooling fan because with the heater inside the same case as the pump we were concerned about pump life longevity of the pump motor so it does have a cooling fan it's made in this nifty briefcase has an aluminum briefcase has a serial number you're ready to go uh, and you need to probably tell them you have to use this. Okay, this, yeah, this 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 comes with it. All this stuff is our test equipment, but what comes with it is this device here, which plugs onto the male and gives you a female here to plug your hose into. And this it tees off to this pressure relief valve and a hose, to, and you would run this hose into a sink or toilet or somewhere where if this opened up, if it overpressurized for any reason, this is a safety mechanism to keep this from overpressurizing. 